All right, a Merry Christmas to the YTDC, the philosophy community, the pipe community, um, and the gaming community. I still contact, I still contact and still watch gaming videos. Um, and I was thinking about, uh, it's Christmas time, presents. And uh, I was thinking about the presents I get from uh, uh, the communities. And uh, I think that one of my favorite examples is kind of like being over at your house in a way like hanging out in your basement and listening to you tell a story. Like there's one particular story about uh, <laughs> this uh, girl comic was talking about there's a train yard near her house. And uh, one, one day a guy's like, there's all these train cars uh, uncoupled uh, just waiting for their, uh, their next to, to be shipped out. This one guy's like, I wonder what's in those. And he broke one open and it was full of liquor. And uh, the, him and the whole neighborhood just emptied that, uh, that train of liquor. And uh, she said the whole neighborhood was drunk, basically. And I, was just, I just loved the idea of like sitting in Girl Comics' basement listening to this great train robbery story. Um, another like gift that keeps popping up every once in a while is someone will make like a reply video. And it's not like it used to be where they could just put it in the replies in your video. Um, but you'll look over in related videos and you'll see your name, I'll see my name, uh, in a video uh, that happened, uh, it's happened a bunch of times where like I watch a video months after someone made it for me. Um, and it's like this delayed gift. I, I loved it. Shit Soils and Forty LaForge uh, made a video for me asking me a bunch of questions. Um, I, it was months and months and months after they made it that I saw that video. And part of me was like, I, was like, I watched their videos. Part of me was like, oh man, I'm sad I missed this. But uh, part of me was like, it's kind of exciting to discover it though. It's like a bottle floating in the, the river of YouTube. Some other gifts are like people who have opinions that are quite different than mine. Um, or they're experiencing things that are outside of my experience, but I can still like apply my mind to it. I'm not like mystified. Um, but like, so I start seeing things, experiences and ways of reacting to things that are not my ways uh, through their eyes, especially if you watch, you know, a couple of years worth of someone's videos. Um, you have a rough idea of the direction they're coming from, if, even if you don't understand it. Uh, so that's been really valuable. Like, you know, the whole idea of like, looking at things not from like my own perspective in history but trying to see it through someone else's eyes um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to really do that but uh, some people don't even try like so having having this opportunity uh, to experience that is uh, I can see actually people paying money to try to be taught to do that actually um, and here it is uh, our community uh, doing it for each other for free Oh, like the people that like Mr. Met 40 on saying like, I'll vote for Trump, you know, if, uh, if I have to. And I'm like, ordinarily, I would say that's uh, an irrational uh, viewpoint, except for I know he's not an irrational guy. I like the guy. So it's like you could like somebody and then not understand the choices they make. And then you could try to understand those choices. Voting for Trump because the apocalypse isn't coming fast enough. <laughs> that should be the bumper sticker. Vote for Trump. The apocalypse isn't going to happen by itself. Ah, uh, just joking. Just joking. But seriously, don't vote for Trump. It's like self-harm. It's like cutting your own arm, except you're cutting the country. What else? Oh, you know what? Uh, a couple people have made like montage videos. Uh, um, someone made uh, some art for me. I drew a, drew a picture of uh, of my face. That's my Facebook uh, thumbnail. And uh, in the past, actually, uh, Amanda sculpted some. Uh, some figurines of me and Aquila and the tiny house. Um, that was a wonderful gift. Surprising, surprising that people would take the effort to do something like that. Really grateful. And then you know, it makes me wish that I had. Uh, I wish I did that for. Should I do that for somebody? I should do that for, like that for somebody. You know, like you know, the inspiring uh, to try to like be more of a gift giver as, as opposed to a gift receiver. Certainly not a gift expector. That's unexpected. Well, anyway, I'll wrap this up. Um, 
Happy, uh, Merry, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas to everyone. Except for Dorf. Dorf, I don't want you to have a Merry Christmas at all. I hope that you, I hope you don't even get coal, because I'm sure if you had access to coal, you'd want to light that on fire and burn something down. Something important, like a major bridge on a highway. So like, let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. So really, wishing Dorf to not have a Merry Christmas is really kind of protecting our, uh, our nation's uh, network of highways and byways. The life's blood of our economy. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Except for you, Dorf.